everyone, and welcome to Hollow Knight, a very long-awaited playthrough on the channel. We're finally checking out Hollow Knight. This game, next to Outer Wilds and Subnautica, are the most recommended games that I've had on, on the channel in, in the past couple of years. I've especially had Hollow Knight being recommended uh, so, so, so much uh, by the by the FromSoft community going through uh, all of the, the From Software games. Uh, there will always be people being like, Hollow Knight, please? Hollow Knight? To the point where I was like, I felt such a tremendous amount of pressure that I was like, I can't do it. I can't play it because everyone's expectations of me playing Hollow Knight is too high. And I ignored it for a little while and I needed to not think about it and uh it was always on my list and always a game that i would intend to to visit and i wanted to start off 2023 with a big game with a big brand new game on the channel and i was like i think that i've finally kind of worked myself into that that state of being to be ready to dive into whatever this experience is so uh no idea what hollow knight is about it's this is a blind playthrough. I know that what the our character looks like is like on the front cover. Um, I know that there's a sequel, a very, very muchly anticipated sequel of of Silk Song. I'm aware that uh, that is is uh, a thing that's coming out. So this is a game with a sequel in mind. Um, apart from that, I I, I, don't, I think it's a Metroid. It's a Metroidvania would be the term. I believe. I have not played a Metroid game and I have not played a Castlevania game. So this is going to be my first Metroidvania experience without playing any of the the games that actually gave it its uh, genre name, I suppose. So we'll be going into this one uh, completely, uh, completely fresh uh, with, with no expectations and um, no idea what's waiting for me around the corner. I'm super excited to dive in though, because uh, uh, as I said, many, many people have been very excited for me to play this one and it's a long awaited playthrough and I have my lovely, lovely patrons to thank for voting for this game in my most recent Patreon poll where I was feeling a little mischievous and I just threw four games that have been highly recommended all up against each other to see which one would win. And there was a time where Hollow Knight was actually not in the lead, but then they uh, all the Hollow Knight fans woke up <laughs> and made sure that it that it won. Uh, but the other the other games in the poll were Subnautica, uh, Neo, and um, a game that has just completely slipped uh, my mind, Hades, uh, Hades as well. Uh, so it was a pretty it was a pretty decent poll. It was a pretty decent poll. Subnautica did sit in a cozy second place. So I know that people really want to see me go through that one as well. But one step at a time. But we're starting 2023 off right with Hollow Knight. And I think without further ado, we should jump in. Yeah. Thank you so much to my lovely patrons who voted for this one. Uh, patrons also get three days early access if you want to see the episodes a little bit earlier. And as always, your appreciation, your support, whether it's just watching the videos, liking, commenting, subscribing, all of that helps me tremendously and it's so appreciated let's jump in shall we press any button to start now uh, we'll have a look at the options english uh we'll adjust the audio i guess when we come to it no no subtitle options I'm not sure what the extras are menu style oh okay I don't know what any of this means, but you can change your menu style. Should we just have classic? Nice. I guess this is what the game is supposed to look like. Hollow Knight and then Void Heart Edition, I'm assuming, has some extra stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Let's start the game. All right, you game. In wilds beyond, they speak your name with reverence and regret. For none could tame our savage souls, yet you challenge met. Under palest watch, you taught, we changed. Base instincts were redeemed. A world you gave to bug and beast as they had never dreamed. 
from Elegy for Hallow Nest by Monomon the Teacher. This is such a beautiful presentation. I really like the art style. Superhero landing. Nice. All right, let's, ooh, okay, let's get a feel. Let's get a feel for it. Um, I have a jump, I have, a, I have an attack, and I've got my movement. Wonderful, okay. A game by Team Cherry. Uh, very nice music. Very nice art style. I like that presentation. Um, and also an interesting little opening shot there. Bug. Bug and Beast um, is, an, is an interesting one. We'll have to do some audio balancing as we go through as well. All right. We'll pay attention to this. Sound and score by Christopher Larkin. All right, pay attention to that. It's the, the, the main menu music. Sounded very nice. I really like these effects. Oh, uh, an enemy? Okay. Two things. All right. Guys, it's just like, it's just like that game, Mario. You jump on the you jump on the mushrooms. <laughs> uh, I've never I've also never properly played <laughs> a Mario game. Obviously, everybody knows what Mario looks like. Guys, does uh, any coins come out of here? These these are my coins. These are my Mario coins. Hollow Knight bucks, I suppose. Okay. Oh, hang on. Is there anything up there? It's hollow in there. That's the name of the game. Okay. Uh, I, yeah, this is going to be interesting. Mm. This is going to be interesting. I haven't played a, a game like this before. So uh, there will be a, a definitely a learning period and some adjustment. So you're going to have to exercise some, some patience. Um, so this, this will be... Ultra Instinct, baby. This will be blind playthrough in every sense of the word, where I have to, I'll be learning how this game operates, how it works, and also adjusting to this sort of gameplay style. So hopefully I'm coordinated enough, and hopefully I don't let you guys down, because like I said, I was I was almost scared to play this game when it was getting recommended so much, just due to a unsurmountable amount of pressure, uh, <laughs> of expectation. Uh, but I hope I, I hope I do you proud. Because uh, I'm ex I'm excited. I mean, I am very much excited. Inspect. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Your great strength marks you amongst us. Focus your soul, and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold B to focus soul and heal. Oh, oh, I see. Okay. So is this like a this like a super tiny world because it's all like bugs and we're like a little bug knight? What type of are we a bug? 
Or are we at like a weird like beetle skull? We got like the be the beetles like claws or, or pincers or something. Like, but then it doesn't make sense with the eyes. Oh god, I'm being attacked! <gasps> I, I have suffered. I have suffered damage. Okay, hold B to focus. All right, so I can be hit five times. Okay. Ooh, pit of spikes. Get away from me, bug. I can attack up. Good. All my money has just been lost to the to the pit of spikes. But alas, there is there is always more money. Always more coin to be earned. Okay. I'm not sure. It, it's making coin jingly noises. I'm gonna assume that's a that's a currency. <gasps> That was intentional. That was that was uh it was a planned coordinated attack. Absolutely. Alright, gotta watch out for those. Pretty room. I'm, I'm kinda scared. Do I attack it? Um oh Oh, I have an ex- oh, I have an extra two. I have an, an extra two. Okay, extra two hits now. I got uh, blue, blue goopy armor. Cool. similar to me. Uh, yeah, I, I've... Yep, I knew that was coming. I expected that. Oh, uh, there's... There's money up there. Can I, like, attach myself to the wall? Do you, like, kind of climb up the wall? No? Maybe it's about time I had a look at the controller. What are we looking at here? There's a dash. There's a super dash. Not yet, there isn't. All right, I won't look at the controls furthermore, then I'll wait for it to tell me the controls when I get new things. Oh! I swear I pressed the jump button, but I must have fallen off. Oh God, don't do that. All right, I, I've lost one of my one of my free hits. Oh, all right, this is how I get the money. No, I hit a roof top. Now I gotta do this again. Is it worth the ri Yeah, I hit the, this rooftop, don't I? That's not happening. Higher beings, these words are for you alone. Beyond this point, you enter the land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our laws. King and creator, bear witness to the last and only civilization, the eternal kingdom, Hallow Nest. They, they, they shut the door on me. I'm knocking. if you hold down well that doesn't look promising um look i'm gonna assume that we this is a leap of faith yes so no fall damage that's good oh i love i love this the lighting is really nice i and one of my favorite things about games um that have sort of a very simplified like art style and I'm this I'm not going to I'm not about to say this looks like this game but it reminds me of Limbo in a sense I've I've played Limbo and Inside on the channel um and something that I really like about what the those games are able to do being most for the most part on a 2D plane is the effective use of like foreground stuff like having stuff like pop up in the front of front of the screen 
just like blurred in the foreground. I love the sense of depth that that gives. It's very effective straight off the bat to be walking through being like there's stuff like right in front of me and all the way off into the distance as well. This is cool. Dirtmouth, the fading town. <gasps> there's a person. Listen. I like how they look at me. I listen to this. Oh, there's actually like, they make sounds. Elderbug. Oh there, traveler. I'm afraid there's only me left to offer welcome. Our town's fallen quiet, you see. The other residents, they've all disappeared. Headed down that well, one by one, into the caverns below. Used to be there was a great kingdom beneath our town. It's long fell to ruin, yet it still draws folks into its depths. Wealth, glory, enlightenment. That darkness seems to promise all things. I'm sure you two seek your dreams down there. But watch out. It's a sickly air that fills the place. Creatures turn mad, and travelers are robbed of their memories. Perhaps dreams aren't such great things after all. Does he have more to say? Many used to come, hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Hallownest, it was once called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom there ever was, full of treasures and secrets. Hmm. Now it's nothing more than a poisonous tomb full of monsters and madness. Everything fades eventually, I suppose. Feeling tired? That bench may be iron, but I assure you it's quite comfortable. There's no better place to collect your thoughts before heading below. <laughs> All right. Is this a save point? We got the literal save bench. Take a rest. Plus, I enjoy the company. Not that you seem the talkative sort. I'm a great listener. Akala. 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 Imtono. Okay, so they have their, their own language, which is cool. Yeah. Rest bench. Nice. Can we go in buildings? Looks like they're just like part of the environment. Knock down doors. Oh, hang on. Here's one. Inspect. For all your mapping supplies, we will be opening soon. Iselda and Cornifer. Okay. Soon. So I guess we'll know if we can go in a door. Right. This is the well you were talking about. Before I do that, I need to check out the surface more, right? A stone door with a simple lock. I need a key. Oh, sometimes I'm like not sure what I can and can't destroy. We dropping in. Oh, and I have a chain to get back up. Forgotten crossroads. Huh. The detail of like smacking one of these things away and watching watching the pieces bounce away is cool. Um, okay, yeah, we can as ascend back up. Oh, crafty. Crafty bugger. Look at this sad one down here. He's so sad. He's just like, oh. Cursed to roam these crossroads for an eternity. I almost feel bad. I don't need to go down there and put him out of his misery. I'll just let him wallow for a bit. I'm trying to look in the background as well, like seeing all these, like, in, like... Uh, I don't know. I don't even know what to call them. But they have, like, similar, like, they've got eyes in them, and then they're hollow, like my character, except I'm... Uh, quite, uh, alive? I'm moving. I'm sentient. Um, three faces. One with one eye. One with four, potentially. Another one with six. Yeah, these things. I don't know if these are like... Are these like dead dead beings? Are these empty husks that once held souls? Because it seems that we are... We get souls 
from uh, from killing enemies. Temple of the Black Egg. Oh, this was the opening cutscene thing. There was these three thingies. So this was the opening scene. Goa, Nudo Ilamac. Hello there. Not delightful to meet another traveler on these forgotten roads. You're a short one, but you've a strong look about you. I'm Quirrell. I have something of an obsession with uncharted places. This ancient kingdom holds many fascinating mysteries, and one of the most intriguing of them is standing right before us. A great stone egg lying in the corpse of an ancient kingdom. And this egg, is it warm? It certainly gives off a unique air. Can it be opened? There are strange marks all over it. I do love a mystery, and who knows what other marvels lie even deeper below us. So this is a character that has a face, but also has a mask, and the mask is the same as that thing. The one with the four eyes. For so long I felt drawn here. So many tales full of wonders and horrors. No longer could I resist. I just had to see it for myself. And what a time I chose to arrive. This dead world has sprung to life. The creatures are riled up and the earth rumbles. The air is thick. I wonder what could have brought it all about. Goa. To persevere in this ruin, that old nail alone just won't be enough. That's... though that's no problem. One only has to look around. Plenty have come before us, and most have met their grisly end. Many more equipped than you and I. I'm sure they wouldn't mind a fellow explorer to relive them, to relieve them of their tools. It's a kindness, really. The dead shouldn't be burdened with such things. I want to go off like the assumption that maybe we should talk to everyone at the very least three times. Go on. I know this is a, a fourth dialogue. Talk to them more than three times. Did you pass that town above? What a gloomy little place. And such majesty hidden right beneath. I suppose that's why they're all headed down here. Who could resist such possibilities? Hmm. Truly a marvel. Hmm. There you go. Hmm. Okay. Big black egg. Three faces in it. And obviously it's intentionally being housed here because it's been marked atop the archway. This is where the egg lives. And it seems as if even these archways at the top here sort of signify its location as well, because you can see the three... I don't know what to call it, three masks? Three faces? Up the top there as well. I guess we'll say three... the, the, the tri-face. Let's go with that. Alright, so I kill these for, for bug... Oh! He's attacking me! I took pity on you. So now I have like a full soul meter and I got a lot of bug coins. Bug bucks, we're gonna call them. Um, and their soulless husks remain. So we take, we're literally taking the souls of our enemies. Are their souls dark in nature? Uh-huh. Or demonic? Okay, this, these ones, they don't like hanging around me. Can we lose our our money? Is there, is there like a, a penalty if we if we if we die? I wonder. This is obviously going to be a, a Hollow Knight. Uh, no, no death run. Zero deaths. Ew, okay, they got... Okay. I'm not a... I'm not a big fan of bugs. I'm not a bug person. Oh, God. Hey, I, I said no death run. Not a no hit run. Uh, I'm not a bug person. But, uh... Art artistically stylish bugs? Sure, I, I think I can put up with that. Oh, hello, up there. He's just a sad caterpillar with a moustache. 
<laughs> is, look at that sad caterpillar with a moustache. His moustache is so sad it'd be flapping around. I can't inspect or talk to you. Interesting. Okay. Be that way then. We got a... We got a sad bug. I love the bugs being in the light bulbs. Like, they are the light bulbs, essentially. Alright, enemies come back. <gasps> ah! I'm so scared of just normal bugs. Because it's like one of those things where I, I don't think you have a... I don't think you have a block, right? You just kind of... You just don't get hit. Which is really challenging. For someone like me. Because I am going to get hit. I'm scared to like drop down too far, so. My coins! My bug bucks! My bug bucks! I'm losing all my money downstairs, but I don't know how far down I can drop. Oh! How did I not get hit then? Oh, we got bug prams. We got we got any bug babies being left behind? Like Bloodborne style, we got, just got the empty prams. Oh, we got Murgo's wet nurse in here. <gasps> Some of my money. Alright, that's. We're gonna have to try and make sure that we. Do we have like a map? Oh, I have an inventory. Old nail. Oh, right. Okay, that's the what they were talking about with the nail. A traditional weapon of Hallow Nest. Its blade is blunt with age and wear. Oh, wait. I think we don't have a map, but... Um, there was... There was a... There's a shop opening soon, so we should be able to buy things. Like maps and items? Maybe? It's going to be a shop. The Pilgrim's Way. Travelers of Hallownest descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. I don't know which way to... Whoa, hello, big boy. Whoa, projectiles. Okay, I don't know where to go and what to do, so we're just going to kind of, I assume, just pick a direction and kind of roll with it and see where we end up. Um, and then I need to keep my eye out on, like, doorways to... on the sides of the walls and stuff. All right. Oh, you're going to be one of the... You're going to... You also can protect yourself? Does all of the other spit outside of this the big spit do damage as well i'd assume so right oh no it doesn't oh only the big one does damage but then you hide oh that's rude if only i had a dash ability of some kind all right so we'll ignore that for now looks like i can't do anything about that yet took a hit Still got my pride intact, though. Um, looks like we can go this way. I guess I'm going to have to start committing where I have been, haven't been, and where I need to return to to memory, right? Oh, wait. I just remembered. Hang on. I'm not getting anyone's soul right now because it's full. Okay, so it takes like two-thirds, or it takes like a third to heal one hit. Oh, that's why, that's why Bugman's crying. Someone put his baby boy in a jar. Who's done this? Huh. Buggy boy, I will get you somehow. Huh. Okay, this is rude. Oh, I need it. Can I? Hmm. Maybe I'll be able to... Uh, can you... Maybe when we were able to dash, we'll be able to dash in midair. I'll rescue you, baby. I'll get you to your crying grandfather. And then he'll give me lots of bug... Bug dollars. 
I guess. Who's put you in a jar? All right, we gotta go, we gotta be, come back for come back for Bug Baby. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, dude, they get so aggressive when you get close to them. Everyone's so antisocial here. Nobody wants to make friends. Oh! You know what's really cool? Is I was able to see this thing and know what it was going to do. I think that speaks volumes for very simplistic and effective, like, designs. I, I'm a massive, like, geek for uh, concept art and character design and effective character design. And, like, less, less is more. Like, one of my... Uh, dreams when I was pursuing art and doing art all the time for, for years and years because I wanted to do it as a living was I wanted to be a character artist and concept artist like for and all of this kind of beautiful stuff because I love art direction in video games I'm, I'm big I'm big on my on my art stuff and I still am and I always will be um, but I just want to praise that real quick that I could see that enemy and you just go, oh, this guy's going to charge me. It's, it, it, and they, all we have to do is just put a pointy, make it a pointy head, just a big old horn. And you're like, that's a charging type enemy. Simple yet effective. God, no. Okay. So I can, I can't stop the charge, but I can push him back. Okay, so it seems that the the bug's blood, for lack of a better word, is orange. But then that big armored thing was like spitting it, spitting out blood at me. I suppose it's the same color, and it's dangerous in a significant amount. I'm rich, baby. <gasps> Okay, that's actually... Uh, okay, <laughs> I thought I was about to die. Can I go back up? Okay. Nice. Okay. <laughs> it's like, no, I'm dead. I'm just waiting for the Super Mario noise. Oh. Okay, there's a lever there. But I can't do anything about that right now. Alright, I'm getting a lot of that, those vibes right now. A lot of... I can't do anything about this right now. Come back for that. Oh, there's too many. There's there's too many multiple pathways. I'm I'm getting overwhelmed. There's uh, there's there's so many. Let's try here. This looks like a man-made structure. Well, man-made, bug-made structure. At least there are some nice bugs around here somewhere. <laughs> oh, bury my mother pale and slight. Bury my father with his eyes shut tight. Bury my sisters two by two. And then when you're done, let's bury me too. So pleasant. <laughs> Do you know that one? It's one of my favorites. We can sing something else if you like. You start singing and I'll join in. I bet you have a beautiful singing voice. <laughs> so what are you down here for? If you came to get, get wealthy, just look around you. These mines are still bursting with riches. There's p plenty for everyone. Just, just grab a pick and join in. <laughs> so pleasant. Oh, bury the knight with her broken nail. Bury the priest. Something about a crown? I can't remember the rest of that one. <laughs> Maybe I'll just hum it. Bury the knight with her broken nail. And a priest with a crown. Interesting. I have a nail. It's my, uh, I, I, I can't really, there's, there's not really a, a, a ge I'm a genderless bug. I don't really know. I have a nail. Am I a female bug? No idea. Oh, there was a side path. There's, there's so many places to go. All right. Oh, that floor's going to collapse. That's good to know. All right, um, I don't want to stray too far from other places that I haven't explored yet. Ooh, does this give me souls? Because I've already got... It does, okay. 
I guess I'll just leave that alone then so that I can get some souls from there. How weird is it that, like, yeah, you can absorb it, but you don't heal. Ah, oh, there you go. Now it's no longer. All right. Experiment. So... You can heal your little soul thingy. And the game still lets you waste it. If, even if you have full health, which is interesting. Okay, you can tick that segment off the list for now. We've been given like a, 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 a song or a tune of some kind. Let us go up this way. Yeah, I'm gonna try and stick semi-close to locations I'm familiar with and then branch out from there, I guess. Oh, yep. I got distracted by the uh, by the falling spike. Oh, oh, okay. Nice. All right, I found a point. We have found familiar territory. We've had a moment of familiarity. That's good. We finally found a spot. Okay. So now I'll head back over this side. Now we'll see what's here. Are you friendly or not? You kind of look not friendly. Uh, okay, okay, that's not friendly. That's not friendly. That's not friendly. Yep. Okay. Not friendly. I was like, you never know if you're going to be able to talk to someone or not. Uh, not friendly. Um, also fast and heavy. Okay. There are some things that I'm like, now that I've seen that there's a dash on the controller, I'm like, I, I feel like I need to wait. I, wait until I get a dash. I shouldn't have looked at the controls because now it's kind of dictated my my train of thought. It has definitely dictated my train of thought because I'm like, oh, this would be a much more useful situation if I had a dash. So now I'm like waiting for the game to be like, dash. <laughs> I'm going to avoid looking at the controls now as a result. Um, all right, I'm going to head back this way. Um, oh, there's Bug. Oh, I just walked right in. I didn't even see that one. Just walked, walked right into it. That's fine. You got to pay attention to where I'm walking. All right, healing, at the very least, is a, is a relatively simple process. You ever just need souls? Just reload a room, kill some bugs. So that's fine. And you also get bug coins. Alright, is this. Alright, this is this area. So we're gonna go. Oh, oh god. You see, this is why I was taking it slow, and I and then I just I slipped. I slipped and I fell. And I landed on a bug. So this game does not have Mario rules. You cannot land on top of bugs to do damage, even if it's ones that are not spiky. You keep falling in holes. Hang on. All right, there's someone here that I should talk to because they're humming, which means they're friendly. Mos this is a mosquito that likes to write. Hmm? Ah, hello there. Come down to explore these beautiful old ruins? Don't mind me. I have a fondness for exploring myself. Getting lost and finding your way is a pleasure like no other. We're exquisitely lucky, you and I. I'm a cartographer by trade. And I'm working on mapping this area right now. Would you like to buy a copy of my work so far? Buying a map? Yes. Oh, I'm... I have money to spare. I've got... They are bug coins. Let's go. 
Give me a map. Acquired a map. Hold LB to view a map of the current area. View a detailed map of Hallow Nest in the map pane of the inventory. Nice. A map can be a useful thing, but it alone won't show you where you are. If you've not the head for directions, I suggest purchasing a compass from my wife, Aselda. Oh, you're, um... Cornifer? Aselda and Cornifer's shop? She's just now opening our new map shop in Dirtmouth, selling all sorts of useful things to wanderers like yourself. She'll even sell some of my old maps from time to time. Okay, cool. So it is, yeah. I thought so. So that, I, I thought I read that right. So that is a map shop. That's where we'll get our, our maps so we don't get lost. I pop back to see her whenever I finish mapping an area. She's always so excited to see me. <laughs> Cute. LB. Oh, cool. Okay, we can... Damn, this area feels so small now. <laughs> That's so funny. I was going through here being like, oh my God, this is massive. And now I'm like looking at this. I'm like, okay, I have an understanding of this. That thing in the middle though. I don't, I don't know about that. It's that thing in the middle. Cool. Well, relatively easy to understand. That's good. Oh, by the way, I haven't introduced myself, have I? Yes, I should apologize for that. When you spend a lot of time by yourself with just your own thoughts, you forget the niceties of conversation. My name is Cornifer, and I've always loved exploring the world. Why, when I was first hatched, I wandered off immediately, leaving my brothers and sisters and poor mother behind. That's why as soon as I could move, as soon as I could, I moved to Dirtmouth with my wife. A huge, unending kingdom to explore right on our doorstep. Who could resist? Anyway, I'll let you return to your travels. With a little whack, with a, with a whittle whack, we'll meet again. Be safe and farewell. Mm -hmm. How are you finding my map? I've tried to fill out as much as I can, but every map is a work in progress. If you'd like to fill out some of the map yourself, you can purchase some mapping supplies from my wife up in Dirtmouth. We've set up a little store to help make ends meet. <laughs> oh, so like the points that are in there, there are things that are incomplete. You can see passageways that lead out to other places. So we get like a partial map and then we can add to it. That's really neat. So for example, oh, okay, cool. Dirtmouth. King's Pass, Dirtmouth, Front Crossroads. This is really cool. I like this a lot. Okay, inventory and map. Cool. So, we do not know what's lying out underneath you much. Let's take a look. Uh, that doesn't look nice. Oh god. Okay. Can I attack it? Nope. Mm, places that, again, I feel like I need a dash for. To get to that money coin mound. Well, that looks acidic in nature, doesn't it? Oh god, what is that? Attack it before I, I even can un- I, where? It's spawning babies. Get out of here. <gasps> no! Yep, it is, it is acid. You have burned my money this day. <gasps> Wait a minute, there's another one? He's got multiple children in jars. All right, do I... I guess I risk attacking you? I break you out of there? Yes. Oh, nice. Okay. There's multiple. Not just the one. Okay. Good to know. How many, how many children... How many children you got out there? Eh? I don't know. I, there's not a double jump, as far as I'm aware. Maybe though, maybe you can get one. Mm 
Oh, cool. That's that side. Gotcha. Let's go down here. I'm mapping this out with my brain at the moment. assume that yep that clears out an area so <laughs> try not to go for the money that's like right at a new zone what is that whoa uh. okay um shit i've been i'm, I'm trapped oh, oh i'm taking damage get out of here um, oh no, oh no, now there are two of them. Ah, uh, okay, gotta watch where I jump. Okay, my, my suffering was only short. I like how you can use the environment to damage enemies as well, like if you're, if you are quick, you can use those spikes to like land on enemies, I guess. Um... Let's go this way, underneath where we just were. Left side first. Okay, looks like it was just a little money hole. This way, bottom right. Uh, don't know what I was thinking then. There must be some sort of like maybe upgrade to your height jump, to the, to the height of your jump, maybe. sounds so weird. They don't sound like bugs. Oh. that jump? Yes. I, I don't need to, I don't think I need to risk that. <laughs> I don't think I really risk getting hit for some, for some bug money. Okay, so we do have at least, like, these little, like, street markers, for lack of a better word. Where's this? Need to see if I start getting anywhere familiar again. Oh, I got a rest bench. Nice. So there are rest benches in these places. 
So I'm somewhere in the, I'm somewhere in here. I don't have map. I need to go. Maybe I should go get map supplies and then I can actually mark this out. I wonder if it retroactively adds it. Like if I've been to an area before and then I buy map supplies, if it updates the map or it only updates when you're there with the supplies. A toll machine with the symbol of a stag. Insert geo. Okay, so they're called geo. Okay. Is this like a fast travel point for money? Like a stag will come and take me somewhere? Travel? Hollow Knight Travel Solutions? I think I hear another baby. Oh, this is this area with uh, this thing. Okay. I'm not seeing a baby, which means it might be like maybe off to the side. It seems loud here. Oh shit, we're above that guy. Okay. So now we're on the other side of where we were before. I'm trying to see where we're at. Because I don't think this is the one in the center with the spiky horns. Don't think it is. But also, I'm not sure. <gasps> don't, don't, don't make unnecessary jumps. Right. Why does it sound like there's one of them bugs to save? Oh, they're, they're, they're upgrading. Oh my god, they're upgrading. Oh shit. Oh my, oh my god. Oh god. They're getting stronger. They're learning, they're adapting. Oh, we're like clashing swords. Oh my god. Uh, like a, a, a fucking, like a, what is it called? Those, those carts that travel, like, those, those carts that travel on lines? Car some sort of zip carriage? Is that what that is? Oh, that's definitely like, that's definitely got to be like a, a dash. Oh, no. This gonna be like a dash room for sure, right? How am I supposed to get through all those spikes? I'm scared of... God damn it. Don't get hit by these goddamn tiny bugs. This room is very spiky. Yes, bug noise. Okay. There is bug, but there is also spike. How do you get bug when there is spike? I feel like I need... A, maybe a dash of some kind. Or maybe some, some other ability. I cannot rescue bug at this time. Is this? Yeah, that's like a carriage. A door with an open slot. An open slot. Okay. That'll take me somewhere, I suppose. Aha! Made one of those rewarding, you found something noises. No idea, no idea where the public transport will take me. And I will also have to remember where it is, I suppose, when the time comes. I really should go to the map shop and get the map supplies, shouldn't I? Just, I'm just, I'm just zooming through this with an incomplete map. Friend or foe? Scared of you. Okay. Uh, mm. I feel like it would be a thing that we would attack and therefore in, incite a potentially violent situation. So I'm gonna wait. 
I feel like I need to go get map supplies. But there's part of me that just can't stop. I just can't stop. Uh, uh. How dare you? I can't stop venturing. Let's try and find somewhere familiar. Oh, this is familiar. I remember that. And I went up there, didn't I? Okay, that is familiar. Is there a pathway out the side here? There is. Navigating these areas are pretty exciting. Hmm. The council. The council room. All the council members. They will judge us. I have not earned the right to hang out with the council. It is closed. I guess we head back. And that's where we put the council on our maps. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna get back up here and we're gonna go left, because that is the only section that is familiar to me. I remember coming from here some point, yeah. God, ooh. Um, from here, I think there's just bugs in that corner, yep. Get me back to the surface, cause I don't know where I am. I think at least what's a good thing is I know where I am in the, the like close vicinity, but outside of that, no idea. Oh, maybe that thing that has like some horns. Maybe that's this thing. Maybe I don't think so. Uh, actually. Oh, this is beautiful, but look at the stuff in the background there. Oh. Can I walk on this? Wow. A rest point. This is a beautiful game. Music's so nice. Oh, I think that, okay. I don't know if that is rest point icon, but it's certainly an icon. Okay, we're back with cartographer. Which means I'm close to being able to get out of here. Did I already look down here? I think I did. I can get to the council from up there. Has the council symbol. It's gonna be. It's funny because obviously I have no idea what that symbol means. So if <laughs> we're just rocking with, <laughs> it's just a bunch of figures. I'm like, it's the council. The council of, of bugs. The Hollow Knight squad. The Illuma buggy. Nice. Okay, let's get out of here. <laughs> Awesome. We're back in at least a location where we can refer to the map. So let's climb back up here and get out of here, I suppose. So we can head back to the surface. At least those weird bugs seem to just bounce off the walls. So they don't really have like a path in mind. Um, no. I need to continue higher. No, oh, no, oh, oh, god damn. No. 
was silly, wasn't it? Never try and attack an enemy twice when you're vulnerable in the air, I think. I think I already went this way, I'm just double checking. Oh! Oh! There's a lot of babies. Oh, I see. Oh, he... I get paid! Hell yes. I do get paid. Okay, you got a lot of babies. That's a lot of empty holes. Alright, at least he's not crying anymore. Hello, friend. I will find your remaining babies. I've already found some of them. But alas, I'm unable to retrieve them at this time. Oh god, I didn't mean to fall down. <laughs> I'm just like, I'm gonna, you're gonna hear that a lot. You're gonna hear my... I didn't mean to do that. Ascend. How about that for an adventure? God damn. Cool. The Forgotten Crossroads. Is this shop open? It is. Let's enter. Hello. <sighs> Barpanada. <laughs> Come to buy a map, have you? It's really my husband you should be dealing with, but what a surprise. He's headed down below. You can already tell the attitude of a Zelda just based on that introductory language, and I love that. So you know what sort of tone she's taking. It's great. He'll pop back occasionally to deliver new maps for the store, but I do wish he'd spend a little more time up here. I've not much interest in retail myself. Now let's see what's here for me to sell. It's very interesting to see the two perspectives of these two characters as well. He's like, she's always so happy when I return. It's like, yes, because you're always away. <laughs> now you can see that because she's like, ah, he's always down below. All right, let's have a look. What are, we, what are we? Damn, we got some stuff. All right. Wayward Compass. Highly recommended. If you're having trouble finding your way in the maze of ruins below us, try this charm. It will pinpoint your location on your map. Incredibly helpful for finding your bearings in unfamiliar locations. Cool. Quill. You'll need this if you want to update your map with new areas as you explore. It's essential for anyone serious about mapping. Damn. All right. These, this stuff got a cost to it. We're not as rich as I thought. Bench pin. These pins will mark benches and other rest spots on your map. Useful if you're exhausted and just need to find somewhere to sit. A cocoon pin. Have you seen those beautiful blue cocoons? Um, oh, the ones where you get the... Um, the little armor slots. Keep track of them, so I've only seen one. The cocoons are pretty but very delicate. Please be careful around them. Vendor pins. Use these pins to mark shopkeepers or any other interesting bugs you find on your travels. Every so often, you should pass by and see how they're doing. I'm sure they'd like that. Hot spring pin. All right, that's what that was for. I designed these pins to keep track of the kingdom's hot springs. I haven't visited any myself. I wonder if Cornifer might take me some time. I'm sure you'd make better use of these pins till then. A scarab marker. These markers are new additions to the shop. You can use them to mark interesting spots on your map. Manual markers on a map is a cool idea. The color is quite soothing, don't you think? And a shell marker. These markers are new additions to the shop. Okay, you can use this color to remind yourself of hard-won battles. That's a good idea. Okay, well, let's get the quill. Uh, and we're going to check the map real quick just to see what happens. Yes. Okay. It does not update. So it will now update when we go through there, I guess. So we've done some exploration without uh, being productive about it, unfortunately, <sighs> but that's okay. Um, I don't think we necessarily need the Wayward Compass right now. I seem to have a good sort of idea of where I'm at, which is fine. But I mean, I don't know what is there any I don't know if there's any, going to be anything else to spend money on. Do we is there going to be like a weapon upgrade, like a health upgrade? Should I save money up for that? Is there going to be another shop? I don't actually know yet. Uh, or is all of our geos just tied to navigation? Oh, sure. Nahato. Did you visit that temple? Strange building I've heard. I never dare the journey myself. The braver among us once went there to pray, so they felt at peace within the walls. After a while, they stopped going. I wonder what changed. Ooh. A young couple's just recently taken up residence in the house beside the station. Seems they're running a map shop, which may excite adventurous types like yourself. She's a tall bug, the wife. I told them to take a larger house, especially given they're all empty, but they like the look of that one. 
The way she has to bend just to get through the door, I wouldn't put up with it myself. Nice, okay, so all the houses are confirmed empty. Cool. We're gonna rest here. It says the map has been updated. Um. Mm, nice, okay. The map does update. Um, it does update. That's good. That's good to know. Cool, 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 cool. So, you just have to rest at a bench to update your map. Wonderful. And then it looks like as well, from what I can see here, that we can see that if, it, if the map has not been filled in, we haven't been there yet. So the only entrance, the only spot in that map so far that we've uh, charted is that room. There you go. I guess that'll be the, the I guess the, the maybe the boss. It looks dangerous. The, the big enemy of the Forgotten Crossroads. We will have to find out. But with that rest and that update to the map, we are going to bring this first episode of Hollow Knight to a close. Uh, thank you so much for joining me for the first hour of this game. Uh, really nice first impressions. I think it feels very nice. It's, uh, it feels good to play. Uh, it's fun to explore these environments as well. Really like the art style. Uh, the music is very, very somber uh, and emotional. And uh, right off the bat, really, really liking it. It's a, it's a tone that I, that I appreciate. And uh, it'll be nice to learn about this world as well. There's a lot of reading to be done within the world itself. And I'm super excited to continue. So thank you so much for joining me. I hope you've enjoyed this first episode and we'll be looking forward to the rest of the playthrough. I'll see you next time.